One of the really essential skill sets we need as songwriters is how to take very standard chord progressions, very powerful chord progressions that in themselves can convey an entire atmosphere to a song, can delineate a whole key color, in this case mixolydian, and take those standard progressions and create many, many variations so that we never run out of ideas again as songwriters. In this clinic, I'll show you the rhythmic tools and the pitch tools that you can use to vary any chord progression to create something very distinctive for your song. Let's take this simple Mixolydian progression, take a look at how it's originally used. This, one of the versions of this Mixolydian progression is in the Rolling Stones song, The Last Time, and notice how many measures it takes. Notice that this four measure progression can be compressed into just two measures for songs, for instance, like the Michael Jackson song, Shake Your Body Down to the Ground, which uses the identical pro progression in a much more compressed form. <laughs> so notice this is a rhythmic tool taking a long progression and compressing it down. Let's take another standard progression, for instance, the numbers in the major key one, six, four, five. In C major, they would be C, A minor, F, and G. Now you could create your song on that standard version of the progression, but here are some of the rhythmic tools you can use to transform that progression. One of the rhythmic tools is to take those simple chords, C, A minor, F, and G, and change the order. For instance, here's a version that starts with A minor, G, C, to F. So you see it's the same chords, but they've been shifted around. And when we take that and we create it together with, for instance, a dance club groove, we get the Tayo Cruz song, Dynamite. Now, if you shift them around again, for instance, and uh, play them in this order, A minor, F, C and G, you get the chord progression to If I Were a Boy, the Beyonce song. Notice, by the way, I'm changing the order of the chords and framing it in a different tempo with a completely different feel. We can now take that progression and stretch it out and reorder it again. In this case, C, G, A minor, F. And this is the progression they use in the verse to Hey Soul Sister. You can now reorder it again, stretch out the progression, and you get a very nice four-bar loop that they used for the entire verse, pre-chorus, and chorus of Payphone. F, C, A minor, G. All of my bridges. The last of the rhythmic tools is to take a simple chord progression and make the rhythm of the chords irregular. For instance, here's a regular version of the one in the four chords, C to F. This is the chorus of Ain't Too Proud to Beg, the Motown song made famous by The Temptations. Here's the verse to it. Notice that the verse takes the same progression, and instead of playing two beats on each chord, it plays six beats on the first chord and two beats on the second chord. And it sounds like this.
also notice that this entire song is created from one progression in different rhythmic transformations. So you can see that once you learn the power progressions in all of the five key colors, by applying these simple rhythmic tools, you can take standard old progressions and create fresh, original, distinctive tracks for your songs. And this is one set of tools that are covered in the Songwriters Workshop Harmony course.